The School of Cellular and Molecular Medicine is where we translate science into medicine. That is our goal. So we use our expertise in science to improve treatments for patients. On visiting the university and the city, uh, what impressed me was the environment here as well. Not only is it a great research environment in terms of uh, academic collaboration and the facilities here and also the standards that are set here by my colleagues but actually as well the city itself the city is a beautiful place to live and work and i've thoroughly enjoyed living here ever since the postdocs who work in regenerative medicine acquire a lot of skills uh, in terms of critical thinking experimental design and lab techniques so we have early career scientists um, and mid-career scientists, we always go over the latest in the field and always revisit the fundamentals uh, and the beginnings of that field so that we can improve on our thinking and deliver answers to the questions related to uh, our research. In the school, our research is informed by our teaching and our teaching by our research, so it's a two-way process. Here at CMM, we work to address some major global health problems, whether these are around uh, cancer or the problem of antibiotic resistance. And these are all things that our students engage with during their learning. I'm doing reverse genetics uh, for SARS coronavirus 2. Um, so the main focus of my work is trying to establish a subviral system called a replicant system. My lab focuses on uh, looking at the way that two uh, bacterial pathogens cause uh, disease and also potentially to find the new uh, targets for therapeutics. And we have a lot of really cool advanced facilities here, but on top of that, there's also an openness and friendliness that means accessing those facilities isn't daunting at all. And it feels like there's a lot of opportunity. So in particular, the flow cytometry unit, which is a range of instruments for doing all types of experiments and cell sorting. And we have one machine that can measure 200,000 cells per second. So in the time it takes me to say that, we would have detailed information from a million cells. We have the facilities to perform cat-free work on aerosolized viruses, which is um, quite rare in an academic setting. We also have the Wolfson microscopy suite, and there's a broad range of microscopes there to use yourself or to um, bring samples to and they can analyze for you. And we also have the proteomic facility. So there's a lot of opportunity for um, bringing your research out of your own lab and, and getting additional input. Our postgraduate students learn loads of skills while they're here with us. So of course the subject specific knowledge, but also loads of transferable skills. So they learn to problem solve, they learn communication skills, they develop loads of practical skills, and also things like independent working and team working, which are skills that employers really value in our students. And it's really amazing to see these students go on to succeed and to feel like I've played a role in supporting them to do this. I think with the different uh, activities uh, and uh, community experiences that we have, uh, we sort of try to focus really on this idea that we are inserted uh, into also a social uh, context rather just, uh, than just in our research department. Postgraduate students, I feel, really enjoy the collegiate atmosphere here as well that they're part of a community, that they get to know each other. One of the things that uh, a lot of CMM students find really exciting and rewarding is the opportunity to go and work with an industrial partner. And you get to join teams at Glasgow Smith Pine and other big pharma companies. From human resources to administration to academic questions where we have a range of professors I can access. The, the school cares about the different roles and acknowledges that there are different challenges and there's a very open discussion and community. Bristol Doctoral College has also organised a series of online activities from uh, career talks uh, to um, social activities uh, to allow us to connect with the postgraduates so that you can uh, keep up with all the different uh, uh, opportunities uh, that they give you. Everybody is super keen to help you, everybody is very interested in your work. It is hugely helpful to have people to bounce ideas back and forth and see their different angles. The Zoom events have been working really well. For example, the Research Away Day was really fun. Everybody made a huge effort there and it worked brilliantly. I really like uh, Bristol because it's such a vibrant city and it really is a melting pot of uh, people and cultures. Uh, there's loads of arts, there's amazing food, there's 
really cute little cafes where you can grab your coffee to work. I feel like there is a very much uh, international uh, community, so there's quite a bit of a mix and uh, I really enjoyed that and I think it makes this place special and uh, more open and engaging.